Okay, first graders. So we read um, all Fly Guy books all week, but we also have been reading the Bad Seed series. First we read um, The Bad Seed, then we read The Good Egg, and now we've got part three of the series, The Cool Bean. Let's read and find out what type of character the cool bean is. The Cool Bean. Written by Jory John and Pete Oswald. The Cool Bean. Watch out! Here comes the cool beans, the cool beans. Oh yeah, check out how they move. Look at the way they swagger. Notice their sunglasses, yow. The cool beans are known all over school, from house to house, across town, beyond county lines. So, so far they've told us they have swagger and sunglasses and that is what makes them cool. In the olden days, last year, we were all one big pot of beans. We were a mixed bag, but somehow it worked. Yep, those were the good old days. And then we stopped seeing each other as much. That's just how it is sometimes. You spend less time together, even though you're not really sure why. Oh, so here's this bean, and he's starting to notice that he's not spending as much time with his friends, and he's going, sigh. You might be sad. As I watched the beans I knew so well, the beans from my own pod became the cool beans. Oh, they were so cool. One of them could play the guitar cool. One of them could draw the best superheroes cool. One of them could jump higher than any bean I'd never, ever known. Cool. So they can play the guitar, they can draw, they can jump really high. I guess that makes them cool. What do you think? Hmm. Me, well, I mostly stayed the same. Sure, I made some small changes. I wore sunglasses, too big. I slicked my hair back, too slick. I strutted around, ow. I swaggered, oof. I was still picked last for everything. My clothes never seemed to fit. I snorted when I laughed. I walked into stuff. I was an uncool bean for sure. I started thinking of myself as just a common bean with no special skills. I couldn't compete, so I didn't even try. I'd never be a cool bean. Wow, so it seems like this little bean is feeling pretty sad. He thinks that these other guys are really cool and he thinks that he is not that cool at all. What do you think? Let's see what happens next. It seemed like there were two types of beans in the world. There were cool beans and beans like me. I was in the cafeteria and I dropped my lunch on my loafers. Oh no, not again. But then something sort of miraculous happened. Out of nowhere, one of the cool beans helped me clean it up. He didn't even say anything. He just gave me a nod, that was it. Later, I was out on the playground and I tripped and scraped my knee and maybe cried a little bit. Everybody saw it. Another one of the cool beans came to my side and without a word, he dusted me off. Wow, that's really kind. That afternoon, I was sitting in class and I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't notice, but our teacher had called on me. Everybody stared. I sat there in silence. Nobody said anything. And then, then, everybody just laughed at me. That was it. After today, I was officially a has-been. But one of the cool beans stood up and came over to me. Everybody watched. She leaned in close and whispered, hey, the teacher asked you to read from page 32. 
Then she gave me a quick wink and went back to her seat. It was a small gesture, but it was also everything. Wow, again, the cool beans are being nice. First, the other bean helped him up on the playground. Now this bean is helping him when he got a little confused in class. I walked home with, my, with a goofy smile on my face. I smiled all the way through dinner. That day made all the difference. It was a day that could have been really bad, if not for the kindness of a few cool beans. It gave me some confidence, and that shred of confidence began to grow. Someone had my back, a few somebodies. After that, I started hanging out with the cool beans again. How have you been? Get it? How have you been? Not all the time, but sometimes, at lunch, after school, and even on the weekends. Throughout all of this, I realized that it's not about how you look or any of that other silly stuff. It's about a wink or a nod or a smile at just the right moment. It's about dusting somebody off and helping them up again and pointing them in the right direction. You need a hand? Yes, please. Now that's cool. Wow. So this book, was teaching us about how it's cool to be kind. It's cool to help other people. So today in your journals, I want you to write about why it's cool to be kind. I think it's cool to be kind. One reason is, another reason is, for example, that's why I think I'm gonna share the persuasive writing sentence starters with you to help you out. Let's see. That's not it. Whoops. All right, let's find them. Persuasive writing sentence starters. Persuasive writing, it means convincing, convincing other people to think the way you think. So you want to convince other people why being kind, being nice to other people is cool. I think one reason is, tell me a reason. What's a way that you can be kind that's cool? Another reason is, why is being kind cool? For example, that's why I think. I can't wait to see what you think. Make sure once you do your writing, you have your parent take a picture of it and send it to me. Can't wait to see them.